What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fallout for Mods for the PS4. Today we're going to be taking a look at three mods and the first mod is called Tobias Mod and it's by Street Smoker. Now this is a bit of a goofy mod and the description of it does state that he is fat, he is tiny, he has a female voice, and he has diarrhea. Now I am definitely going to pronounce this wrong. I don't know what language this is in but it says Der Klein Dicky <laughs> Tobias. I'm sorry for pronouncing that wrong. I know I did but uh, yeah it's just some random NPC in here. You can't really do much with him uh, if you talk to him he just says hi mister and that is it and he's just here just to look weird he's very small i don't know it's just a very goofy mod just want to show it off to you guys but yeah that's pretty much it for this one now, i actually really do like this next mod it's called don't shoot the nuke and it's by slayer wrath now what it does is it makes it so that a little it's a little more believable it makes it a little more immersive with the ammo um it makes it so that let me just whip out something like the splatter cannon and really quickly i want to state that this weapon right here the splatter cannon it is not a mod it is from the nuka world dlc i get a lot of questions on this weapon right here. It is from the Nuka World DLC, not a mod. Now, uh, this mod right here, though, brings in a little more realism to the game. It makes it a little more believable. Um, it makes it so that when you shoot things like flamer fuel or missiles or mini nukes, it makes it so that they erupt into flames or just explode. But for right now, we're going to try it out on the flamer fuel. We're going to shoot that. As you can see, it just erupted into flames and kind of blew up. For the nuke and the regular missile it would do exactly the same and uh, right there as you just saw if they are next to each other they will both blow up i'll show you guys again now just for a little quick example we're gonna try out our friend over here and i don't know why but whenever i was dropping these mini nukes it kept spawning some of them into nuka nukes but uh regardless we're gonna try out something over here with our friend now i guess this mod would be pretty good for certain things like they could act as mines that you could detonate from a distance with your bullets or something like that so you could place them down near an enemy or someone that you want to kill and then you could just shoot it from a distance blow it up and there you go and apparently i guess it does work for some of the uh the dlc ammo because we saw the nuka nuke explosion go off so i guess the description was kind of wrong but yeah that's pretty much it for this mod pretty short and simple and really cool in my opinion i definitely like it but let's take a look at the next mod guys i will see you there and finally, guys, the last mod is called PS4 Abandoned Labyrinth, and it's by Governor Writer. Now, to find out, all you have to do is come over to Sanctuary Hills and go over to the root cellar and go inside of it, and it will be right inside of there. Once you get inside of the root cellar, there will be this abandoned labyrinth door right there, a little hatch. You're going to open it up. Novice lockpick, not too hard at all. We're going to go inside of this really quickly and see what is in here. All right, so now that we're inside of here, we're going to walk through and take a look and see what we could find, see what's going on inside of here. I'm already hearing weapons. Oh my god. Okay, so there are already turrets firing at me. Now, this is my first time going through here. I heard that it is a an extremely large labyrinth. It could take up to days, hours, months, weeks, years. That's what the description of the mod states at least. So, we're going to go ahead and look through this terminal first and see if there's anything on it. All right, there doesn't seem to be anything of interest on there, but we're going to go through. You can get some stuff out of there, but I don't really need anything right now. Mr. Handy. Oh no. Hello. All right, there's just a random Mr. Handy hanging out over here. I don't know what's going on. Once again, this is my first time running through this. I don't know if I should take the elevator or go over here. This way seems a little more secret and interesting, so we're going to go this way. Um, I'm obviously not going to go through this entire mod. We're just going to go through it a little bit and explore it because if the description of it says that it could take a couple months up to years to get through... Well, then I'm definitely not going to sit here all day and uh, try and, you know, explore all of it. But I'm going to get through a little bit of it. So, what's going on with this guy? It's just a floating raider. There you go. So, I'm guessing this is part of the labyrinth. Um, Very, very strange. So, I'm guessing this is all one big part of a labyrinth. Let's continue through to see. Ooh. Bottle cap mine, I'll take that. Oh my god, okay, there's a lot of rads over here. We're gonna need to pop a lot of rad X right now. Oh no, a chameleon deathclaw. Okay, I just ran, just ran across him right there, I don't know. 
Okay, oh shit, I didn't even look at my rads. Oh, I'm taking a lot of rads. It's been five years, seven months, and 82 minutes since I've last spoke to you guys. I've been running for a really long time in this tunnel, this labyrinth. I hope this isn't it. I hope it's not just a bunch of just pipes. Um, this is very... If this is it, this is kind of disappointing, but I don't know. It, I was expecting more. We're going to see what we could find. Um, there's not a whole lot going on inside of it. That's why I'm kind of disappointed. I just wish there was a little bit more to see. Maybe there's a lot more down the road, uh, down the tunnel. But um, I seem to be coming across the same things over and over again, like this bottle cap mine. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It seems like I'm going in circles, but uh, I'll get back to you guys in just a second. Hopefully I could find something. But yeah, I'll see you guys if I do find anything. Okay, I'm at a different pathway now. Uh, let's try this way out. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. There's another chameleon death claw right there. Take him out. I know for a fact I am going to edit a lot of this out, but I have been going, it seems to be like in circles, or I've just been going in new directions or whatever for a really really long time i don't know how long it's been at least 10 minutes by now 10 15 minutes that i've just been going down so many different paths okay this seems to be a new route because i always pick up the bottle cap mine so this seems to be a new path but i've been going in so many different paths for so long and oh man i i'm not gonna let you guys sit through like you know, everything, because trust me, I'm cutting out a lot of this. I've been traveling for a really, really long time. Um, I don't know if this is it. I don't know if there's anything else to it. Worst comes to worst, if I keep traveling like this for a really long time without finding really anything, um, then I'm going to travel back to where the Mr. Handy was, and I will look inside of the elevator to see if there's anything there. Maybe there is a different labyrinth there, or maybe this is just it. I'm not exactly sure. Um, this is a new path, though, because there is another bottle cap mine. Um, let's head left. Oh, there's another chameleon right there. Take him out. And down you go, okay. Now, if you guys want to, definitely download the mod and let me know in the comment section if you guys have gone through this before and found anything else. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. I'm more than likely am. This is a huge labyrinth, what seems to be at least. And uh, I don't know, so let me know if you guys found anything else. All right, so I came across another... <laughs> It's like a vault security guard right there. Just a bunch of dead vault dwellers over here. Let me pop some Radex and rat away really quickly, though. Give myself a stim pack. And, yeah, just a bunch of... Whoa. Player Fallout 3? Amada? 101 jumpsuit? What? Oh, that's so cool. All right, that's funny. That's a little... I guess that's a little Easter egg inside of there. That's pretty cool. All right, so, um, yeah. If I find anything else, I'll let you guys... Okay, what's this? Um, just a bunch of food, I guess. You could rest here if you want. But, yeah, if I find anything else, I'll let you guys know. I'll get back to you in just a second. Okay, never mind. It looks like this path is full of surprises. So, we're gonna keep going. All right, came across another thing. We have some bodies over here. We have a raider. I'll take those stim packs. And we have some lights going on over here. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're back at... Are we back at the beginning? I think we're back at the beginning. All right, we're back at the beginning. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to check out what is up here. So let's go up the elevator and check it out. And we'll see what's going on over here. So elevator's coming down. Mr. Handy, I don't know why... He's over here, but regardless, let's go up the elevator, check it out, open up the hatch. All right, here we are. Let me out. All right, is there another labyrinth over here? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna kill that. I don't know what would be inside of here. Maybe another labyrinth. Hopefully, that'd be fun. Or maybe this is the actual labyrinth. Who knows? I, it's probably, it might be, actually. Let's go through here. Let's see what's going on. This looks more like a regular labyrinth. So, there are two different labyrinths, I guess. I guess the other one was for, like, a little Easter egg, maybe. Or maybe not. Okay, where are we going? Um, we'll see. 
requires terminal. I looked around this entire area and that still requires a terminal, so what I am guessing is that this is the end game area when you, you know, get through the labyrinth area that we were in earlier, that whole pipe section, you would eventually come out to an area behind this door and then there will be a terminal that will let you unlock this and then this will be the ending area. That's what I'm going to assume, but I'm going to leave that up to you guys because that is going to be it for the video. Um, yeah, if you guys download this mod, let me know go through it if you guys find anything else because we did find that fallout 3 easter egg reference which was pretty cool let me know if you guys find anything else if it's easy to beat let me know i was in that for a good amount of time i'm not going to keep you know the entire length of what i was in there for in the video because it was a really really long time at least 20 minutes plus of me just searching around inside of the labyrinth so let me know what you guys find inside of there if you guys eventually beat it um if you guys do enjoy Enjoy these videos leave a like share them around and yeah that's going to be it though thank you guys so much for watching once again and i will see you in the next video peace out